this as you can see was taking up the town not the town but the dew line and Mount Pelly in a distance the dew line was built in the early 50s for the distant early warning line I guess when the Cold War was on I guess they didn't like the Rus idea of the Russians having to come over the poles. The town was built at this moment? No, the town was built um, in st long before that, eh? back in the early 20s. But you said to me that many people of the Cambridge Bay came. Uh, with the construction, because of oh, the construction yeah. of the base, the dew line. Yeah, well, that's when the towns started to um, grow a little bit more, settling down. People settled down in this area. And most of people um, decided to stay in town, or? Pretty much, because it's flood. You got the uh, Hudson Bay, and these jobs are available there at the dual line. Mm. Mm. Do you know from where people came or? I mean, the, most of the people coming from outside land, um, coming from Wellington Bay, which is west of Cambridge Bay, and some from on the, from the mainland area. Perry River. And you mean from other towns or yeah. people? Uh, at this time, people were living in like a nomadic way of life, or some came to the t uh, work on the dual line. And uh, how should I put it? Uh, well, from different areas, we were traveling from Cambridge, I mean, from the camps to Cambridge. Also, because of the Hudson Bay... Uh, Hudson Bay? Hudson Bay, uh, yeah. If you want, you can uh, just ask for whichever photograph. Okay. This one here is of the old Stern Church, which is across the bay. I remember a minister living in this. I was only, myself, only about between three and five years old. And in this place, a minister used to preach the people. People, there was a little church in this house here. In this windows here, used to be little carvings that I remember looking at. Uh, if, if I remember right, uh, the preacher's name was Father Lemaire. This was back in early 50s, mid 50s. In a way, this is a two-story stone church. A little higher up here is living quarters. Down below is the living area and the church itself. The church area was only about 10 feet by 10 feet, if I remember. used to be a bell on top here that has long gone long gone now I 
seems that the, the cross also has discolored, disappeared. Yes, it has. I've got a uh, photograph of the cross. Uh, This is what the, cro the cross area looked at, right? When, he, when the cross used to be up there. It used to be inlaid with glass in the cross piece area. Most of these photographs you see are just mainly experimentation of my own. Um, different lightings and such. You told me that the ancient town was nearby the... Yes. The town of Cambridge originally started on the other side of the bay here. Uh, at the moment, they don't have a very good aerial view of Cambridge but the town originally started on the other side of the bay with the RCMP and the church
that's when um, they start to realize that they have to protect the land. Yeah, now we're gonna have a contest, so protect and maintain the land marks. Okay. Um, something different. Something a different question that I had. Something that I was curious about. I, I just found out about was that. Before, I'm not sure how many years ago, um, in, in order to, or in making a comatic, mm -hmm. uh, people would actually take fish and uh, take some water and moss and make a slurry and form skis. And then they'd wrap the fish in the ice with caribou and make skis. And I, I found that to be amazing. And can you, is there some, uh, can you tell me about? Time when uh, what time of the year would you start thinking about making a ski like that? Um, or was it just done by accident, like if an emergency you needed a ski right away? For the kids, scavenger hunt. Go see Carl. Wanga a meko angula lik ekwana unip kerukilang niak tunga miki ugodon kawi mario himi kai mani kawi kawi baliagama apun mi iklumi kawi makia himama Maudak <laughs> Atta <laughs> Tiwaktawhima <laughs> Apam nilo, amam nilo ko, igitaw na hawak to ka do yung ako. 
open me up to town. The Ravani go come open me up to the go back to the kid to the tuk 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 Pinna Sevaliagang at a midcock Baliagang at a that bang a dark took to her with humming the stick about that button. Tick very young with over the armor took to her with humming no out of button. Pinna Sevang at a took to half a hair hot little and no half a hair hot little time at a pivot to tell to button. How <laughs> Then me down a little bit of 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 a little Upcoming a cahaw, I mean, no one in it. No, yeah, a cahaw tip, keep to her me. Doubt to pocket. No, yeah, Behind <laughs> I've got Nicky <laughs> Imagine <laughs> 
Tillahtam iloanunga khilak baktu tauturak baktitka. Tillahtam paunganik ilo. Iya, nuna paunganik paunak takotin. Tillahtam iloanun idehi baktu. Taununga ataurak bakkamik. Tati hiku, 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 hiku rak paliaga angat. Tai mata pihun nakot. Alia kawin minun atau rak bakti. Tai mata tau tu rak bakti. Tad ke tai mani jiwa khidka. Inuin. Tai maik bakti. Tau tu bakti. Kawin makam. Kawin mak paliaga. Ya kayong nak doa doa me. Ila tupak le niklak pang man ukiya kadara ngami. Kayong nakdua rami. Ila anak pagdua aku. Ia tuktuin nang nilihan no kami. Mitko itu, mitko ekhimayon ni awi-awi cakak pag kami. Dari ba, nudamik. Aji gangat, anu kena, anu kani gangat, tuk tu ni hatu kata, ni romik siwak, ada anak. Anak tau belum ni, lupa, lupa caja kihimi, caj media kau tu kau yang malak tu kan, hudi hudi. Kuli huwag tunga uwang nga, nut ka nga inarak tunga, isiwa inarak tunga, hanak ay huwag ko nga. Hanak ay luka ako titay ko ay inuin inming ni inuwag si magalawa ko mata. Hanak ay luka ako tuho na may kuya din na inuwag si magalawa. Dadya kimi huli huwag kaya tunga uwang nga nga. Nakedai kong, inohi menak day muna, anak elukar na, pilukar na, itkaw magadwa ko ayong nakalimas, anak elay ramat tahu wihwa tahu kuar mayo drama, haman tesha, uam ni anak elay ramat, ikut elay kong, aniyo le kedai kong. Ikakulay kong daimay na ma itinuhin mo na biluka ang na itkaw magalawa ko ayong nakhing man huya kay ito. Kwa nakhibag kihimita siya na kayo pilaytam ni gubang. Abalik piya kong alupigam ma sa akam. Kanit ka di inobi ka kalinap ka di. Kuya bak tong ay pang makinuhan. Ikiligalo ako di. Kanit ka. Ila ay ninoho ay kami. Inoho ka litong nga lita siya. Inobi ka kalinap ka di. Kuya bak tong. Kanit ka di. Kano ko lumi.
this photograph was taken in Byron Bay when there was a village there back in the early 60s and 50s. It's no longer used. As a young man, I used to go to this camp when people were traveling back and forth to different campsites. Um, this area is very good for fishing. Byron Bay is just about um, 50 miles west of Cambridge Bay, Byron Bay. I cannot remember the um, people that were living here. Yeah. It's just beside the old dual line site, pin four. We have some people fishing by the old Hudson Bay dock where we'd have our annual sea lift come up to this dock here and drop off all the dry goods or the yearly sea lift. This area is a good fishing spot even for casting, cast, catch some char. And this was caught early July, no, mid-July. Uh, this is back in about 1982. Most of the, uh, well, we have trout, char, cod, and there's just a bi three basic fish we got here. Have you lived with uh, parents or grandparents? 
Well, both and mostly with my parents yeah. and my relatives here. We grew out on the land. Start uh, any time of the year. Yeah. But summertime, you have a lot of good Arctic char fishing. That's when the best time to come out and Fishing was done mostly uh, at the time to have food rather than going to the store because we didn't have store but uh, groceries too much at that time. Most of the food was just caught for eating and survival. And just Fishing was done all through the year. Just have to go different lakes up here, Grenier Lake. Uh, don't have any photographs of Grenier Lake. Kakivak. We use this for fishing in shallow streams or through the ice with a jigger, just to spear the fish. With this we catch char, trout, But nowadays, people don't use these anymore. They're hardly used anymore. Just mostly jiggers and fishing rods, fish nets. Early days, uh, fish was welcome supplement to the diet of our uh, people. As, uh, all year long, mostly just have seals and uh, through jigging through, making a hole through the ice in the winters use this to catch the fish to su supplement the uh, diet of seals because in this area Cambridge Bay just mostly uh, seals and the occasional in the summer caribou and other wildlife With the fish, we could either dry them in the spring and summer, winter time, freeze them up, and just eat them raw.
the truck. I was struck and I don't have my license. No? Yeah. I live here in Cambridge Bay. I'm in grade 10. I work at housing for the summer. And I'm moving in um, August. Moving to Nova Scotia. I play baseball, basketball, golf, um, go to the game hall, go to the basketball court, um, I go boating too sometimes, and Uh, right now it's golf because you only get to golf once a year it's in summertime <laughs> and what do you what are your occupations during the winter uh, go to high school yeah and uh, um, look for a part time job There's always nothing to do or no activities going on. But I like playing hockey. It's only time to play hockey in the winter. Do you like going fishing and hunting? Yeah, I like going hunting. All that. You don't like fishing? No. <laughs> I never catch any. <laughs> you learn things from the elders, or are you interested by yeah. Interested in all these things? 
Uh, my culture and language. No. Just the basics. Kind of hot bin. Now I'm up to now. And now. Um, Par five and an interesting tee shot. Yeah, what else? Oh, no. Might be going right. Do you want to stay here and come to bed? No. Yeah, they're going right. Yeah. <laughs> going to the primary shot. What do you want to do? Uh, and you can tell you that what you want to do. Um, here and she is go down south and finish high school. Right. You got to be careful of the water, obviously. There's holes, but. And you can get in the fairway, you've got a chance for Eagle or Probably after high school. Club, especially the Look for I think it's a, good a, a plumbing career. Over the seven. Mm -hmm. And come back here? Yeah. You want to come back here? Yeah. There's a plumbing. Uh, there's plumbing. There's a. Plumbing contractor in town does all the plumbing around town. What is your best memory? Mine? When I broke my elbow. <laughs> As we were living in Fort Smith and uh, my sister we had a playground. With, there's monkey bars and I tried to go across it <laughs> fell on my elbow <laughs> this when I cut my nerve on the same elbow I broke, same arm that I broke it went right through couldn't even move my hand <laughs> Look, uh, I'm coming through Houston tomorrow morning. I was wondering if I might come see you.
Bonjour. Uh, my name is Sergeant Spot McCarthy. Uh, I'm the Sergeant in charge of Cambridge Bay Detachment. Uh, this is a five member RCMP detachment, uh, Gendarmerie Royale de Canada. Uh, uh, we're in a community here of approximately 1,400, 1,400, 1,500 people. Uh, my job uh, as the uh, NCO or non commissioned officer in charge of this detachment is to oversee the overall operations of the uh, the policing the police service that's provided here to this community we deal with a variety of uh, of crimes here uh, uh, property related crimes and crimes of violence where where victims are involved in, in, in uh, that type of thing uh, start off with some of the property related crimes we see on a fairly regular basis would be uh, break and enters, uh, damage to properties, um, thefts, thefts of snowmobiles, all-terrain vehicles, uh, that type of thing. Uh, crimes of violence, we see uh, a fair number of assaults, some sexual assaults, uh, uh, the odd, uh, from time to time, uh, uh, more serious violent crimes, uh, uh, such as this past weekend we had a shooting uh, where one person shot another person. Uh, in this case, it wasn't it, it wasn't a uh, life threatening injury. Uh, it was a s serious injury, but. Uh, the person is in stable condition right now in hospital. So we respond to in, and uh, investigate all those types of crimes. Common cases. The more common cases here would probably be uh, assaults. We see a fair number of assaults uh, involving spouses husband and wife, uh, so there is a fair amount of family violence. Uh, in many cases, and in the high percentage of cases, alcohol is a factor in, in these assaults. Um, so, so that is a fairly, uh, fairly common occurrence for us. Uh, we also, from time to time, uh, uh, see a fair number of uh, break and enters. Uh, in in a lot of cases, uh, those break and enters are committed uh, by uh, youth. Not all the time, but uh, certainly uh, certainly a good percentage are off our property related crimes, like break and enter, uh, like mischief to, or damage to property, are created by uh, uh, the uh, the younger uh, the younger people. No, is that the question you're asking? Is is my experience? Uh, uh, well, I've I have a significant. Uh, I've been in the north for for nine years almost uh, all together, different communities. This is my fifth community in the north. Uh, so I do have a fairly uh, extensive uh, experience in 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 doing police work in northern Canada, uh, and. In most cases, a lot of the issues from community to community are the same as far as uh, the types of crimes that we deal with and uh, the, uh, the uh, many social and economic reasons uh, that are a lot of, are behind a lot of those crimes. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, well, in, in, in a lot of cases, uh, there's, there's a high, high uh, unemployment. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, not uh, with them 
unemployment brings boredom to some extent uh, uh, um, and also allows a lot more time to to uh, to uh, for people to become involved with alcohol although that's not to say that the people uh, that are unemployed are the only ones drinking in this town for example uh, they say in, in in many of those communities um, uh, alcohol is the root problem of all the crime uh, in one way or another it's it's, it's related uh, either alcohol or drugs so uh, uh, certainly the uh, the conditions up here in many of the communities uh, high unemployment uh, uh, inadequate housing uh, in, 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 in many respects where you see two or three families in one house in some cases. All this leads to, uh, to uh, uh, a higher crime rate. I, uh, I've been here, like I say, 17 months now. Um, uh, it's not unlike many of the other small communities I've lived and worked in in the north. Uh, I quite enjoy living and working in the north where I wouldn't be here. I don't have to be here. Uh, Northern service within the RCMP is strictly voluntary. So uh, people volunteer to come, come to Northern Canada. Uh, I volunteered because uh, I primarily originally for the adventure uh, and uh, I came up here because uh, or I came up here primarily because of that. Uh, I stayed here because I liked it. I, I, technically, I could have went south, transferred back to southern Canada a number of years ago, and I chose to stay up here because I, I enjoy living and working in, in, in the smaller communities in the north. I enjoy working with the, uh, with the uh, First Nations people. The, uh, the Inuit in particular has been... Uh, uh, I worked with in, in uh, most of my nine years in the north and, and uh, uh, you know I thoroughly enjoyed that so that's that's uh, that's why I've stayed here uh, in the north uh, I find the uh, the Inuit people uh, very good to, to, to deal with uh, from, uh, from uh, a policing perspective. Uh, I find them, and, and even on a personal uh, level, uh, those that I know uh, that way, uh, I, I find them very good people uh, from a policing perspective. Uh, uh, I find them a very forgiving people. Uh, a very gentle and kind people in, in many respects um, and uh, just overall uh, uh, very good people uh, to live among and, and, and to work with uh, and work for um, uh, the, the uh, the the communities themselves uh, being remote, uh, uh, like I say, there is there is an adventure attached to being here in, in those communities. It's not something that that just anybody uh, has the uh, the luxury of being able to experience uh, the way we can do it uh, to get paid and, and, and to work in, in communities like this is, uh, you know, for me it's a real bonus.
Alors, il y a une contre contradiction pour les jeunes. Ils sont bien contents avec les skidoo et tout ça, et la terre et faire le camping, mais en même temps, ils veulent ce qu'on a dans, au sud. Ils veulent avoir... Euh, euh, il veut faire les achats avec beaucoup de boutiques, beaucoup de, de magasins pour faire les choix. Ils veulent euh, aller au film, au cinéma. Nous, on n'a pas de cinéma ici. On, ils voulaient faire le skateboarding. On ne peut pas ici. Il n'y a pas de, de, de cours pour ça. Euh, mais ces, ces, mêmes, ces mêmes jeunes ont vraiment content avec ce qu'il ce qu'on a mais il veut plus et peut-être c'est c'est toujours comme ça je ne sais pas mais ça va je crois ça va causer beaucoup de problèmes euh, on, on ne peut pas retourner leur l'âge c'est pas c'est ça oui on ne peut pas le faire euh, et les jeunes savent bien qu'il y a d'autres choses dans le, le monde qui ne sont pas ici et peut-être qui ne, qu ne sera jamais ici. Euh, ça coûte cher. On ne peut pas avoir un cinéma euh, dans un lieu très isolé avec euh, 1300 personnes. Euh, ça coûte trop cher. Et on ne peut pas avoir beaucoup, beaucoup de magasins. On ne peut pas avoir un McDonald's. Euh, mais ils le veulent. Alors, ça peut-être va causer même plus de problèmes, les, les désirs, mais en même temps, euh, le sentiment de d'être de, content, et ça va causer des, des luttes, je crois, aux jeunes. Tout à l'heure, tu me parlais de la cérémonie. Là. Oui. Tu m'as dit que c'était pour finir avec un temps. C'est quoi ce temps dont tu parlais euh... <coughs> Encore une fois, c'est assez concret. C'est le temps où on avait un, une école. Et l'école était un, un, un peu spéciale ici à Cambridge Bay parce que euh, ça fait seulement ans où on avait un, un, une école secondaire. Avant ça, tout, tous les étudiants um, sont allés à Yellowknife pour euh, euh, leur éducation de l'année 10, 11 et 12. Et alors cette école était la première école, école où on avait des, des étudiants qui, qui graduaient. Et pour les anciens qui comptent Vraiment, euh, c'est un peu, je sais pas ce que c'est, un peu confus, mais ils, euh, ils comprennent très, très bien l'importance de, de l'éducation. Et pour eux, d'avoir les étudiants qui ont fini leurs, leurs études ici, en ville, avec leur famille, c'était une chose très, très spéciale. Alors, quand l'école a brûlé, c'était un peu le, le fin de, de ses rêves. Mais, et comme c'était la, la troisième fois, et tous les anciens peuvent euh, se souvenir de, de, des trois écoles, euh, ils ont voulu vraiment finir avec l'époque où euh, l'école est, est en danger, je crois. Alors, on a fait le, la cérémonie avec euh, un trou et... et une sorte de personne euh, qui s'intéresse à l'école avec les prières et on a placé des, des choses importantes pour nous ou pour l'école comme les cahiers, comme les journaux comme les clés de, de, le, du bâtiment ancien et, et tout le monde a, a pris un tour à recouvrir le trou alors pour, pour nous euh, c'était le fin 
bon, l'école est finie. Euh, et on ne doit pas crier, on ne doit pas pleurer. Euh, il faut commencer, commencer encore une fois avec une, une nouvelle, un nouveau rêve, une nouvelle rêve. Et c'était... Euh, c'était émouvant, c'était assez émotionnel. Il y avait beaucoup de personnes qui ont pleuré un petit, petit peu, euh, beaucoup d'histoires, beaucoup de personnes qui ont dit « bon, moi je suis allé à l'école » ou euh, « mon enfant est allé à cette école et je me rappelle quand… » etc. etc. C'était euh, une cérémonie très, très intéressante pour moi, différente, je n'ai jamais… Euh, participer dans, dans une telle uh, cérémonie. Yeah. C'est tout. This one here is campsite along the coastline of Victoria Island, southern coast. This time of year, about July, beginning of July, which we have right now, today is July 11th good time of year to go f set nets, fish arctic char are starting to migrate, so people are putting nets out on the ocean. Making dry fish. Dry fish, mm, very tasty. <laughs> yeah. Every year, people go out camping about this time of year. Mostly because to get out of the house, to go out on land, get away from the town, and hunt some ducks and geese. This was my cousin Mark, 
him and I used to do a lot of traveling out on the land. Uh, spring traveling. Sorry to say he's passed on now, several years ago. Yeah. Oh, uh, it wasn't a. Uh, he froze. He froze? Yeah. Yeah. Just because he went to the. Oh, no, no. He froze because uh, he had a party one day and he got a little too much to drink and he slept, fall asleep outside, eh? Yeah. So he drank too much one day and it was kind of sad that day. Yeah. But he was still young. Yeah. He partied too much that one day and froze outside. Time money, uh, you know, he could wait till you know, time money. And I have caught in the cave, he could sit down with a cow job with a few of two time on a devil lifting lid. Tap time, a inot young man coming, a cow to work that you would time a cow him a devil lifting time on it. Um, Kablu na kalak kunilo kano ehu mabin. Kablu na amigay pagliyad kutay ma inuhok to lunga agli pagliyan inaktik pagliyan ng nut kablu na amigay pagliyayot kutay ma nibayot lo amigay pagliyahe mayot nunani tama tama ni kutay ma ni al al langol al dojo tigay Tama, ino ino hita, taymani. It taymani ino it it lok mi apun mi it pagkado ang mata, ukio galo apun mi it lok ako ting kundi lang mo kihian ukko ukko him mo bluting natio mo kwanut ukko him bluting taymapan na kay sa kaho tiglo ilayju sa kaho tiglo. 
ಕೊಡ್ಲಿಯಿಂದ ಕುತ್ತಿಗೆಯಾಡಿ ಟೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಇನ್ನೂ ಒಟ್ಟು ಆಡಿ ರಂಗ ಒಟ್ಟು ಒಬ್ಬೊಮ್ಮೆ ಮೊಟ್ಟು ಇನ್ನೂ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕೊಹಿಯಾಡಿ ಕಾಬಿಲು ನಾನು ಅಮಿಗಾಯ ಕಾಬಿ ತಾಯಿ ಮಾ ಆಡಿ ರಂಗ ಓಟಿ ಬಡ್ಲಿ ಆಯಿ ಕಾಬಿ ಆಡಿ ರಂಗ ಓಟಿ ಟು ಲೈಟ್ಲಿ ಇರೋ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಕ್ಕ ಮಠ ಆಡಿ ರಂಗ ಹೋಗ್ತಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಿ ಬಡ್ಲ ಹಾಕು ಹಂಗ ಇನ್ನೂ ನಕ್ಕು ಹೋಗಿ ತುಂಬಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿಬಡೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಕಬ್ಬಿಡು ನಾನು ಅಮಿಗ ಮಟ ಟು ಲೈಟ್ ಹಬ್ಬ ಬೀಳ್ಬೇಕು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಟೈ ಮಾಡಿ ತಹಮ್ನ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರು ಮುಂದೆ ಕೈಗಾಗೋದು ಮುಂದೆ ನಾವು ಬಡ್ಲಿ ಆಯೋ ನುಣ್ಣಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಅನಿ ತಹಮ್ನ ಇವು ಯಾವ ತೀಯೋ ಇನ್ನೂ ಹೆಂಗ ಟೈಮ ಆ ಜಂಗ ಹೋಗಿಯ ಇನ್ನು 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 ಹೇ ಆ ಜಂಗ ಹೋಗಿಯ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಟು ಹೊಟ್ಟಿಗಳು ನೀಡು ಇನ್ನು ಇನ್ನು ಹೋಗ್ತು ಇನ್ನು ಹೋಗ್ತು ಇನ್ನೂ ಮಿತ್ತು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಗಡು ಇಟ್ಟು ನೀಡು ಇಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗಿ ಪಿಬಡಂಗ ಮಠ ಆ ಜಂಗ ಹೋಗ್ತಾವ್ರು ಟೈಮ ಇನ್ನು ಇನ್ನು ಹಾಟ್ ಇಮ್ಮ ಅಂಗಾಯ ಕಾಮಿಂಗ್ನಿ ಅಮಾಮಂಗ್ ಮಿಂಗ್ನಿ ಟೈಮ ತುಹಾ ಹೋಯಕ್ ತುಟ್ಟು ಕೌಜೌನಿ ಆಡು ಆಗಡು ತುಹಾರಾಯಕ್ ತುಟ್ ತುಹಾರಾಕ್ ತುಹಾರಾಯಕ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಗಾಯ ಕಾಟಿ ಇನ್ ಮಿಕ್ಕು ಇನ್ನ ಕೇಮಿ ಇನ್ನು ಹೇಕ್ ಹೋಮರ್ ಹುಟ್ಟಿ ಇಟ್ಟಿ ಗಮಿ ತಹಮ್ ಆಡ್ಲಂಗ್ ಹೋಟಿ ಆಟ್ ಇನ್ನು ಇನ್ನು ಹೋಯಿತ ತಹಮ್ ಟೈಮ ನಕೂಂಗೂರ ಹೊಡೆ ಇನ್ನು ಇನ್ ಮಿಂಗ್ಲು ನೇಣಿ ಮಾ ತೊಕೊಟ್ ಪಡೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ನು ಹೋಗ್ತು ಗಡು ತೊಕೊಳು ಕಂಗಿಟ್ಟು ಗಡು ಇನ್ ಮಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ತೊಕೊಟ್ಟ ಪಡೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ಪಿಯು ಟೈಮ ತಹಮ ಪೆಗಾಯಕ್ ತೌನ್ ಅಮಿಗಾಯಕ್ ತೊ ಟೈಮ ಕಬ್ಲು ನಾನ್ ಅಮಿಗಾಯಕ್ ಮಟ ಇನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲು ನೂ ನಾನಿ ತಮ್ಮನಿ ಕಠಿನ್ ನಮಿ ತಹಮ ಕಠಿ ಮಯು ತಹಮನಿ ಕಳುಪ್ತು ಅಮಿ ಇಲ್ಲು ಕಾವರ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ಕೊಯಗಿನ್ನ ತಹಮ ಇನ್ನು ಇಲ್ ಕಬ್ಲು ನಾನಿಗ್ಲು ಓಯ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪಡೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ಟೈಮ ನುಡಿಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪಡೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ಕಬ್ಲು ನಾನಿ ಇನ್ನು ಇನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಗಮಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕಲಿಯು ಗಡು ಅನಿಗ್ಲು ಒಂದು ಟೈಮ ಅಬು ಏನಿ ಓಯ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪಡೆ ನುಡಿಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಪಡೆ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ತಹಮ ಆಡ್ಲಂಗ್ ಹೋಟಿ ಇನ್ನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಮನೆ ಕಳುಪ್ತು ಅಮಿ ಟೈಮ ಅಹಿನಿಲ್ಲು ಅಬಂಗ ಅಕೋಯೋ ಗಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೈಮ ಉಳಿಗಿಂದ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದು ನೋಡಿ ಅವಿಂದ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದು ಟೈಮ ಇಡಿಯೋದ ಇನ್ನು ಹೋಗ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಹುವಿನ ಪಕ್ತು ನೋಟ ಕಹಿಂದ ಹೋಟಿದ್ದು ಅವಿ ಪಕ್ತು ಟೈಮ ನೋಟಗಳೇ ಹೋಗಿಂದ ಕಾಗಾಡುತ್ತಿ ಅವಿ ಪಕ್ ಅವಿ ಪಕ್ ಹುಟ್ಟಿ ಪೀಡ ಪೀಡಗಾಮಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಟ ಹಮ್ಮ ಆ ಜಂಗ ಅಮಿಗ ಹಾಕ್ತು ಟೈಮ್ ಆಟ ಉಪ್ಪು ಮೇ ಮೊಟ್ಟ ಅಮ್ಮನೇ ಕಳುಪ್ತು ಅಮ್ಮ ನೂ ನಾಕನೇ ತಮ್ಮ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಕಳುಪ್ತು ಅಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಮೇಟ್ಟು ನೂ ನಾನು ಇನ್ ಉಂಡಿ ಹುಡು ಕಾಕ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕೊಯ್ಯಾಗಿಂದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ ಉಂಡಿ ಹುಡು ಕಾಡಗಾಮಿ ತಹಮ್ಮ ಆ ಜಂಗ ಊಟ ಇನ್ನು ಕಬ್ಲು ನಾಲ್ಲು ಇಲಿಸ್ ಕೊಹೆಯಿಂದ ಇಲಿಸ್ ಕೊಹೆ ಕಾಮ ಇನ್ನ ಹೋಟಿ ಇಮಾರು ಆನ್ನು ಆಗಿ ತಹಕ್ಕುವ ಕಬ್ಲು ನಾಲ್ ಆನ್ನು ಆಟು ಆಗದ ಹೋಗಿ ತಾಯಿಕ್ಕುವ ಒಕ್ಕಿ ಆರು ಅಟೊಕ್ಟು ಆನ್ನು ಆನ್ ತುಟ್ಟು ಧುಂಡಕ ನಟ್ಟಿ ಕೊಯಗಿಂದ ತಹಕ್ಕುವ ಉಕ್ಕಿ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಅಟೊಕ್ಟು ಆನ್ನು ಆಗಿ ತಗೊಂಡು ತಹಕ್ಕುವ ಕಬ್ಲು ನಾಗಿ 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 ಕೇಮಿ ಬೇಕಾದ ಹೊಟ್ಟಿ ಟೈಮ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯೋ ಇಲ್ಲಿಯೋ ತಗಾಮಿ ಆಡ್ಲಂಗು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ Now we're being restricted 
how to live off the land. Too many licenses, and but have to buy a license to go harvesting the wildlife. Some people just don't have the financial gains to help themselves in you know, certain areas. Nowadays we just have to have a license to fish, harvest certain animals out on the land. In the early days, men, people would just go out on land, not worry about um, how we should harvest the land or harvest the animals or the fish. Nowadays, we just. Uh, depending more on the government now to get license or permission to go certain areas where we could fish and where we could we cannot fish or you know certain other animals like muskox or polar bears you know. but um, with the government, there's always development, I guess, changes. You told me last time then that this new government is a joke because oh. they are they are spending the the money of, of people. In certain areas, the government are exceeding their spendings, where I think they could do better looking after the people a lot more. I realize the government is still young, but even though the government is still young, we still have the priority of the people where it was developed for the people, but looking at it now, the way they're going about it, um, it's still hard to see where the money is going to. Um, Everybody has their opinions on how it should be spent, I guess. And I myself am not being in the um, involved in that land claims very much, but looking at uh, how things are being, you know, developing, it's still a long ways to go to develop it. Just you know, watching and talking to other people in office, how they should develop certain things, certain areas. Do you feel much involved in in being in your daily life and with this new government or? Uh, not as, no, I've, there hasn't been much involvement with myself in the government developing area, just talking to, you know, friends in office and type of thing, and um, asking what their development has and how, where they're going, and like I say, just talking with those fellas. Yeah. 
Um, do you feel that you can participate much more? A bit? If, yeah, we, we all could participate more if we wanted to. It's just, uh, you know, individual. Anybody that really has their heart set into it, I guess. Trying to um, put in your voice. That's all we can do, I guess. Everyone has a voice here to say what should or how things should be done. It was not the case in the past. In a cap, in the past, um, it was taken care of mostly by the uh, government, which was several thousand miles away. In early the earlier days, but now uh, with the new uh, Nunavut government, everyone has or should have a voice or should be listened to. Yeah. But who to, who's to say? You never know which way we're going to go, or for the better or for the worse. Understand for your war. Mind is disabled, no knowing at the You show it, walk the end through the door. Attention, you won't as though you are. Reality binds, binds, binds. I speak the truth, and the truth is what I see. Thinking life's life as blood leads for thee. It's not a game. <laughs> 